Hi, I'm Alex. In this Blender tutorial, I'll show you how to set up hair materials for both Eevee and Cycles. So Eevee and Cycles are the two render engines native to Blender, and Eevee is the real-time renderer, and while Cycles is an offline renderer. The main difference between the two engines is, of course, speed. Eevee will render much faster than Cycles, but Cycles will produce a much nicer result, so it's a trade-off between the two. Also, some materials may not be supported in Eevee, while others may not look as good in Cycles. So I'll show you the two most basic hair material setups that work in the two render engines. For this demo, I'm using the Human Generator add-on, which comes with many different hairstyles. You can see there are quite a few presets. You can even scroll down to get some shorter hairstyle looks. I'll just select one of these and I'll hit N on the keyboard to hide this menu. So first, let's create a brand new material. To do this, we'll go to the Material Properties tab, click on the plus button, hit New. Our material is created and we'll call it Hair Tutorial. Also, I'll give it some basic tint, some light brown. And now let's assign this material to the hair particles. As you can see in this hair particle system, there are a few different layers. So I'll need to assign the newly created material to each one separately. So we'll go to the first one, go to the render sub menu, and in the material drop down menu, we'll select hair tutorial. First, we'll set up the hair material for the cycles render. In render properties tab, let's go to the render engine drop down menu and make sure that cycles is selected. I have a simple scene set up with a single light source. If I turn on overlays and zoom out, you can see that I have a one single light key light. If I turn it off, it gets dark and I have some of the settings adjusted. The power is set to 40 and the size is 0.2 meters by 0.4 meters, so the area light is not too big. Let's zoom back in and I'll switch off the overlays. Now let's select our model again and this is our material. If we have a look in the shader editor, this is principled BSDF. It will work in both EV and cycles, but for cycles we can add a much better looking shader which is called principled hair bsdf this one is just principled bsdf and to add principled hair bsdf we hit shift a and search and just type in the principled hair bsdf just select this here now let's connect the hair shader to the output and you can see the different result now, now that we switched from, from principal BSDF to principal hair BSDF. And you can see the result is much more natural, a lot more softer. And another aspect is if you look from the back, it gives it more of that uh, subsurface scattering effect, which you can see that even like from the back, the light passes through the hair more in more natural way instead of if I switch back to the regular principal BSDF, you can see that the result is not as obvious. So this is the regular principal and hair BSDF looks like this. There are a few settings that you can play with in the shader and there's a pretty good documentation from the developers. If you go online, there's a principled hair BSDF manual and all the different aspects of the settings and visual representation for what each setting does. So I'll leave a link in the description for this manual so you can have a look and learn about it more. So for the most part, there are only a couple of settings that I tend to adjust here. First one is of course the color. Uh, I can select the preferred look of the character. Um, and the second one would be roughness. The higher you go, the more matte the hair will become. It will uh, eliminate the shiny, the shininess of it. 
and if you go the opposite way of course it will become more shiny it will give it more that silky look to the hair so i tend to set this uh, to somewhere between 0.2 and 0.3 uh, depending on the look that you're going for and the last one i sometimes turn on the random roughness which will give a little bit more breakup in the roughness so some of the strands may be a little bit more rough and some will be a little bit more shiny it gives a little bit more natural look and feel to the hair uh, one other setup that i do most of the time is to have the ability to adjust color of the hair based on length uh, to do this i will add the curves info node and a ramp node let's me let's just move this over and i shift a look for the curve info node and shift a ramp color ramp so let's connect intercept to the factor and outgoing color to the to our color and you can see now the result that it gives us the black part will control the beginning the roots of the hair and the white part will be the rest of the hair in our case right now this is the tips and you can even add more color in the middle so i'll show you what that does let's have uh, the roots as we'll keep it as black let's select the middle as blue and let's give some green tips to the hair so you can adjust this as much as you want inside this ramp color ramp node okay so this was the basic hair material setup for the cycles render engine and now let's have a look at the real-time render engine ev so now if i go to the render properties tab and switch the render engine to ev you can see now that the whole hair turned to solid black which is an error the reason for that is that ev cannot process the principled hair bsdf so we'll need to switch back to the default material which is the principled hair bsdf which is this one so now i'll just plug this back in we have our initial setup and i can also connect our our ramp node to the base color so we get back our colors of from the ramp node one other thing to note is that if you even try to search for principled hair bsdf while you're in ev render engine mode if you try to search for the principled hair bsdf you will not be able to find it principled you see bsdf there is no principled hair node so if uh, sometimes you get confused where the principled hair bsdf disappeared that's probably the reason why is your in render engine in ev uh, so you will not be able to find it of course you can tell that the whole render output does not look as nearly as nice as in uh, cycles but the main objective of ev is the speed and uh, if you need to render out a longer animation where the character is further away from the character uh, ev could be a good solution for you if uh, you're rendering the character from somewhere here you may not notice uh, some of these drawbacks in ev when rendering the character from a longer distance and if we zoom back in closer on the hair again uh, you can see that a principal bsdf can be also adjusted uh, just as well as uh, principal hair bsdf uh, the, th the settings that you can adjust is the roughness color we can still adjust with the color ramp if we want to if you want to just have a solid color you simply uh, dial in the preferred tint from the base color uh, section and you can also have roughness where if you lower the roughness it will be more shiny the hair will become more uh, setting like and 
also you can add a bit of subsurface it does not work as well uh, as in the principal hair bsdf but if we you can see that that's too much let's put it point maybe point oh two you can see that it has a little bit some of that subsurface effect which from further away it may look uh, pretty decent if you zoom back out and you render the character from the longer distance it may not look as bad but for real-time render engine i think it does the job and another couple of settings that i usually turn on for eevee is i turn on this ambient occlusion check that and make sure that when you go to curves submenu set the curves to strip not strands you can see that strands will give the the hair like much thicker effect and strips will be rendering in a much nicer way so set the curves to strip lastly when you work in eevee in your lights make sure to add contact shadows if you don't don't have them on you'll see that the lighting will become a lot more flat those shadows are not being caught on the model and make sure to have contact shadows on this will give you a much better rendering result uh, when it comes to lights so here you have the two most basic hair material setups one is for cycles and one is for eevee uh, let's have a look again at how they differ this is eevee and if we switch back to cycles and we connect the principled hair bsdf you can see how the results differ so if you have any questions about this tutorial let me know in the comments and if you have found this tutorial useful give it a like so i can create more content like this hope you have a wonderful rest of your day